A botched investigation by the San Antonio Police Department leads to the wrong African American man being indicted for felony family violence. The massive blunder continues to impact Michael Wright's life nearly two years after investigators mixed him up with this man who shares the same last name. The night team's Dylan Collier examines how investigators messed up in tonight's Defenders report. <laughs> It's mid-March 2019, and San Antonio police officers called to this west side home find a distraught woman in a car outside. Inside, they find signs of a physical struggle. And the woman's boyfriend, 36-year-old Michael Wright, sound asleep. Michael. 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 According to this SAPD incident report, the couple spent the night at a club where Wright works security, then came home and argued. Wright grabbed the woman by the throat, led her around the bed before picking her off of her feet and throwing her down on it. As officers decide whether to take Wright in for questioning, we see our first SAPD mistake play out. While the dispatcher notes correctly identify Wright's month and day of birth, the officer who tries to look him up in his in-vehicle computer pulls up someone born on a different day who's four years younger. Uh, 10 24 of 86. The error repeated on the department's charge and disposition report. My name is Detective Montez. Meaning the Michael Wright interrogated by Detective Reynaldo Montez is not the same Michael Wright listed in the paperwork later forwarded to the Bear County District Attorney's Office. The oversight taking place even though Wright confirms his actual age while being questioned. <laughs> Oh, 36. Compounding the gaffe, investigators' inclusion of this photo in their report, which shows the wrong Michael Wright, five foot six, 180 pounds, with short hair. The Wright, who was just in police custody for hours before being released, is more than half a foot taller, nearly 100 pounds heavier, and has long hair. Stand up guy, and I'm a veteran at that. So imagine That's this right. Michael Wright surprise when he learned in the summer of 2019 that he'd been indicted for felony family violence for a crime against a person he'd never met. He, he was extraordinarily innocent. But despite that fact, Wright still had to turn himself in. Thinking he would be able to quickly clear up the case of mistaken identity, Wright brought along his family for what immediately turned into one of the most traumatic moments of his life. I still had to be shackled up and walk down the uh, prison basement um, from wrist to ankle um, from my kids and my wife and my brother, sister, and my dad. For something like this to happen to me is just, you know, incredible. For Mike, uh, it was a seismic event. Uh, he's somebody that uh, trusts in the law, okay? He believes that uh, police officers are there to protect him. He believes that uh, he can rely on the fundamental uh, tenets of our society. And while the district attorney's office dismissed the charge that October, admitting that the wrong Michael Wright was arrested, the move didn't come without some pushback, according to Wright, who still sharply recalls one conversation with the prosecutor. Told me just because uh, it's not me in the video, I didn't do the crime. Um, walking away, not even acknowledging me or my family, not even with an apology. Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez and San Antonio Police Chief William McManus both declined comment for this story. Wright had the arrest expunged, which may explain why they couldn't say anything about it. But this was not an isolated incident for SAPD. I didn't know what's going to happen. In December, KSAT introduced viewers to Eduardo Lopez, who was arrested, booked, and charged with two felonies for a hit and run crash he had nothing to do with. After Lopez lost his remodeling job and used the money set aside for family Christmas gifts to pay for his bail, a detective admitted they were actually looking for someone with the same name. McManus eventually showed up in person to apologize and gave Lopez a check for 700 bucks. I don't think that people are careful enough when arresting African Americans, when arresting Hispanic Americans. Wright's defense attorney, Shannon Locke, has had a front row seat to this issue in San Antonio. In as he also represents the man SAPD officers were actually looking for last August when they instead handcuffed a jogger they believed resembled Locke's client and forced him into the back of a patrol vehicle. If you're going to be making these mistakes, there needs to be consequences. 
And frankly, Chief McManus needs to look at why this happens to black people in San Antonio. One of our highest priorities right now is making sure we address discipline, at the, as you say, to, so that police officers who do act wrongly are held accountable. And while city attorney Andy Segovia confirms risk management is in talks with Wright's civil attorney on a possible out-of-court settlement, it appears the special victims unit officers responsible for the report, which incorrectly listed Wright, were not punished. Civil Service Commission records show neither Detective Montez or Sergeant James Klein have been suspended since March of 2019, when the incident first took place. 35 years on this life, uh, being a black male, you can tell the difference on why you get treated. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. So the Michael Wright that was actually involved in the 2019 family violence case was indicted last summer, then arrested in late October. He faces a felony charge of family assault by strangulation and is free on bond.